What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Reading Between the Lines. I'm your host Brandon. This is the channel where I talk about books and things of that nature. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for staying tuned and uh, keeping updated with the channel. And if you're a new visitor, consider subscribing of course and thank you for stopping by. Two things I want to talk about really quick, I'm really excited for. Number one, I'm starting a new series, playlist, whatever you want to call it on my channel. It's going to be titled Under 4 Minute Reviews and it's going to be where I post a video that is no longer than four minutes long. Reason number two I'm excited is because my buddy TJ, aka Savage or Average Coaching, he's making big moves with his brand and I'm super excited for him. I wanted to show his brand on here for the first time. I talked about it in my first video. You can check that out right here. And I'm like I said, I'm really excited that he's making these moves. Basically, he's my coach and uh, he's like a sub it's crazy how smart this dude is when it comes to this nutrition and like supplement life. But anyways, I'm not trying to push him on you guys. I don't I don't know if you're in the fitness. If you're not, cool. If you are, awesome. But what I want to do is just I want to get his brand out to as many people as I possibly can. I know my channel is almost at 200 subscribers, which is super cool. So thank you for that, everyone who's, who's subbed. That's freaking awesome. But I, like I said, I just want to get his brand out to as many people as possible. But you guys came here to see a review, so we're going to talk about the review right now. So today we're going to be talking about the book called Last to Die by Kelly, <laughs> by Kelly Garrett. Um, this book... <sighs> So basically what the story is about is um, it's about a group of friends in high school and they basically come up with this idea to get their teenage thrill on, as I like to call it. They're going to break into one another's houses when, say, one family's out of town or on vacation or whatever. And there's only two rules. That first rule I just said, break into one of those houses only. And rule number two is don't take anything that's like of like immense value that basically like insurance can't replace. So like family photos, stuff like that. At some point in the story, someone dies and the main character if i'm not mistaken her name is harper she's scared that she might be next so i was in barnes and noble and i was looking for a young adult mystery book thriller kind of thing and i saw this one i saw the cover it's a dope cover and then the description on the back really really hooked me now into the writing portion of the book uh, i think the writing was decent like i don't i don't really have any problems with the writing itself um i do think that the author kelly garrett could have had a better outcome if there would have been what i like to say more sauce on kind of everything, um, not just the events or characters, but kind of on everything. Uh, because I think the characters were, they, they were like, they were okay. Like I, I could I could imagine what they looked like as I was reading, but there was never a time where I was like, wow, that like I can see, I can hear that person. I could, I know how they look, how they're acting right now. Like it wasn't anything in depth. Same thing with the events. There wasn't a lot of sauce on them. I mean, you could kind of like understand what's going on, but there was nothing there was nothing that kind of like blew me out of the water, which again, I like, and especially for a thriller, like mystery kind of book, like it, it was kind of, it was just like, a, it was like a super basic mystery and there wasn't really anything that kind of popped out and it kind of, it kind of bummed me because I, I thought the, the cover would deliver and the description would deliver as well. And that wasn't the case. Now onto the pros and cons of the book. I think there was a, a couple pros. Um, I kind of mentioned the cons earlier, but a couple of the pros, like the, the concept of the story was great. The character roles were pretty decent and the climax was like, was kind of okay. I mean, that was probably the only time where I was like, what? That's crazy. But that was it. And then like, there was no, there, I didn't have that emotion for an ongoing amount of time. It was just a real quick, like punch to the face and that was it. Um, and then onto the cons, like I mentioned earlier, there wasn't enough juice or enough sauce into the events and the characters to really get me going in terms of me being like super, super interested. Don't talk to me. Like I'm reading this book kind of interested. It wasn't that for me. The next con, it there was no like, the ending was terrible. Just gonna say it was an absolute terror. Like the way the, the way the book climaxed and then it just fell off of a cliff, like in terms of interest and like creativity, it was, just, it was a terrible ending. Terrible, terrible ending. And that, that's basically what ruined the entire book for me. But yes, what th those were the cons and I'm, I'm just not a fan of this book. So am I gonna rate this book? Absolutely, because I rate everything. I'm gonna rate this book out of five, I'm gonna rate it like a, I don't know, like a 2.7, maybe a three, like if I was like being super generous. And it's not a knock on Kelly Garrett. I think this is her first novel, um, her debut novel, which is like, which kind of makes sense. Kind of like logic. I, I, there was a lot of things that, that could be fixed or whatever. And I think she's a good author. I just think this wasn't the right, I just don't think she executed properly is all. Now, would I recommend this book? Um, not really, man. Like I said, it's just super basic. It's like, it's almost like, hey, do you want a burger with no ketchup or sauce and well done and a burger or a bun that's stale? I mean, you can have it, like go ahead and, and do what you want with it, but it's just not gonna be that good. That's kind of how I think about this book. That's the end of the review. That's the end of the review. But what I will say is that I never heard of Fire Reads before, firereads.com, if you can see that. 
Uh, basically, I guess it's like the spot to find the hot young adult books, which I'm starting to find I'm really interested in these young adult books. Um, obviously into personal development, all that stuff too, but for entertainment, these young adult books are really, uh, really intriguing to me. Um, so I'm gonna check that out. That's it, that's it, that's the whole video. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna talk about this book, if you read it, if I'm stupid, if you wanna tell me I'm stupid, go ahead and feel free in the comments. Let's have a chat. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I would certainly enjoy it. The love that you guys have been showing is fantastic and I'm a super fan of booktube. So uh, yes, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.